for years. So beyond invoking airlines in way, what specific transit solutions, if any, if any exist, would you suggest as a new board member? And Peter, I take your point, it's not fair to start with the each time, so I'm going to amend, I'm going to make you I'm go not first. Going to do it. That's okay. No, you're right. I want to make sure we're fair. I'm going to ask him to go first. Now, somebody's going to keep me honest in terms of making sure I get you, I get you every one for questions. Columbia Pike is a gem. It's also a huge thoroughfare. I was just on Columbia Pike yesterday, and you see art buses, and you see Wamata buses, and you actually see Loudoun County connectors, and you see a lot of cars, a few bicycles, and people making illegal left-hand turns. <laughs> <laughs> we need an option, a go-forward plan for Columbia Pike, and we have been promised to see some options by county staff. As your county board member, this would be one of my first priorities, to make sure we see some of these options. I will also say that the Northern Virginia Transportation Commission is currently doing a study where they're looking at streamlining bus services. So they're looking at regional bus services, ART, DASH, WMATA, and how can we move everything together without duplicating efforts, but also making Columbia Pike and other thoroughfares easier to access and to move through. I, I rode a bus along the pike at 8 a.m. in the morning, and believe me, I don't think it works for a lot of people who, are, who have to be jobs and have to take a bus every day. And I think that a bus solution is a solution for now, but it is not a long-term solution, given that the greatest growth is going to happen along these corridors, whether it's the highway or the pike. So I'm actually, I would like to be a little bit more bold and say that I think we should explore ideas like elevated monorail. Not like the L in Chicago, right? But there's amazing new developments in, in elevated monorail technology in Copenhagen with silent rubber wheels and maglev technology. And I'm not saying we have to fund this. I'm saying we have a plan. Because if and when the president passes a trillion dollar infrastructure bill, I want us to be shovel ready. And have a plan that we can execute and build out a transportation corridor along the pike and along the highway and be ready for that so we can grow our communities and grow our business and you don't have to take um, an hour traveling along the pike in a bus. So. Now the planner in me is going to come out because we actually have a plan. It's already, we have the blueprint. When we looked at whether or not to do the streetcar, there was an alternatives analysis that was done. And just below the streetcar was a bus-based system called TSM2. Now that's very wonky speak. But basically, we already know what we need to do. We're just not funding it. So it's not about more options. It's not about more plans. It's about a will on the county board not to allow one-third of the county to lag behind its full economic potential. All of the county suffers when we have uh, the, the state on the, on the pike where we are not getting private investment to revitalize the pike. Private investment, we have proven over and over again, follows public investment. We are not making the public investment, so we are allowing the pipe to languish. And I think that's a shame. A, a, a shame. Well, this is an area that is near and dear to my heart for all of my years on the Planning Commission and the Transportation Commission. The four county board members that will remain um, have already voted on a plan for the bus service. Um, and uh, that probably is the way we're going to have to go. But yet you have to implement that. Now, I'm somebody who has a greater sense of urgency, okay, uh, than perhaps some other people in the room. And it is important to me, I, I don't want to hear any more about staff hasn't done this, staff hasn't done that. Staff does what the county board directs the county manager to do, okay? And you put the resources to that area to make something happen. Now, in the meantime, I don't think bus service today, per se, is lacking on the pike relative to the number of people there. Plenty of pike residents have told me over the years, and recently door knocking, that they feel as if they're constantly behind buses. All right? Yesterday, I got stuck behind a broken down bus um, on the east end of the pike. All right? And had to work my way around and travel. But what is important is that we move forward. If we're going to actually have a bus-based solution, we actually have to create, you know, by the by the stock, by the buses, have a place in the county where we can do this work, but we also have to then extend this into the Lee Highway Corridor if we're going to plan for growth like we are, and Glebe Road and other places, okay. and back it up Metro. Thank you.